and welcome back to my channel. I have a palette challenge for you guys. Woohoo! Woohoo! So, as always, I am doing this with my dear friend Jessica from Ms. Adventures in Makeup. That blogspot.com. I will have it linked right here. Go check out her blog post. We took on the new, the improved, not really improved, but the new Too Faced Chocolate Bonbon Palette. So here it is. Here is a preview of what's to come. So basically what we decided to do was take this palette, use every shade in it for a week, test it out, give us your thoughts, give you us, give you our thoughts and see what we think of this. So get ready for, I think I did five days and I was able to use up all the shades and I got really creative with it. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty excited for you guys to see what I came up with. If there are any of the looks that you would like to see a tutorial on, let me know down below and yeah. So get ready for day one. Here is day one of my palette challenge look and I wanted to do something a little bit simple and I was actually really surprised with the um, with the way that it came out. I thought it was going to be really brown and neutral but it went a little bit more rosy than I had than I thought it was going to. So I started by taking the taking this shade here which is Almond Truffle and I blended that into the crease with a fluffy brush, a Sigma E40. Then I went in with Bordeaux, this shade here, and I did that first on a fluffy brush. I did it on a Sigma E25 um, and then I did it denser in the crease to, um, so it was like a softer application than a denser application to kind of do that in the outer corner and in the crease. Then I took Cashew Chew all over the lid and then I topped it with Satin Sheets all over the lid and then in the inner corner. And I also took Bordeaux on the lower lash line and I blended that out with Almond Truffle. And just to highlight my brow bone, I used Divinity down here. So I'm gonna have swatches of all the shades so you can see which ones I used in the color combination. And I'm gonna zoom you in for a closer look. Almond Truffle, Bordeaux, Cashew Chew, and Satin Sheets. So we have Almond Truffle, Bordeaux, this is Satin Sheets, yeah, and then this is Cashew Chew. Day two's look went a little bit more dramatic than I had anticipated. I actually wanted to do something like really light and fresh and it, it just went a little bit more dramatic. So I kind of went with it. Sometimes that happens. So today I, um, I started by taking Divinity down here and I just brushed this all over my lid after I primed it, like the whole lid from the lash line up to the brow bone, just to kind of start with like a smooth base so my colors blend a little bit better on them. Um, it's just not a technique that I normally do so I wanted to try something different. So I started with that. Then I took this shade here, Cashew Chew, and I took that with the Sigma E40, a fluffy blending brush, and I just started that as like a base in the transition in the crease. Then I went in a little bit heavier with Pecan Praline, which is like this grayish brown down here. And I went in with a little bit more of a tapered brush. It was actually the Morphe M411, and I took that into the crease, um, just so it was a little bit denser and to give a little bit of depth with the transition there. Then I took, oh good grief, I took Cafe Oulat, which is this beautiful shimmery metallic silver taupey type shade and what I did is I first laid it down but I wanted it to pop a little bit more so I went in and I took um, MAC Fix Plus and I sprayed that onto my brush went in again with it and then uh, kind of almost like foiling it putting it on the eyeshadow and that really made it put it on my lid and that really made it pop and then for the outer corner and into the transition is I took Dark Truffle with it which is this shade down here and I did that into the outer quarter, blending it into the crease. I also took that on the lower lash line to smoke it out. And then I did kind of the opposite on the lower lash line. I went in with pecan, um, yeah, pecan praline underneath that and then cashew chew underneath that to kind of smoke it out and give it that gradient effect. Um, so these are the main shades that I used here. So we have right here is cashew chew. This is pecan praline. 
this silver beautiful gorgeous is Cafe Let. I totally am probably saying that incorrectly. And this right here is Dark Truffle. So those are the, the shades right there. And there they are on my hand. I ran out of room so the Dark Truffle is over here um, instead of on this side. But those are the colors there. What I also did this time is I went in with Satin Sheets, which is this top, whoops, I'm totally backwards, you guys, which is this beautiful shade right here. And I actually did the same thing with it where I went I wet my brush with MAC Fix Plus and I put that in the inner corner and I also use this as my cheekbone highlight today. So this is like a really pretty kind of versatile type color. It's like a golden pink shift to it. So I use that as my highlight today, um, tip of my nose highlight and I use it on the inner corner. So I'm really happy with the way that this came out with the shadow wise. My eyeliner was kind of funky today and I don't like my coverage on my foundation. But other than that, the eyes came out pretty good. So I will zoom you in for a closer look at day two's challenge. For day four, I decided to do something a little bit different. Um, what I took was, I took almond truffle here, whoops, let me get up here. I took almond truffle and I blended that into the crease with a Sigma E40, so just a really fluffy brush. And then I did like this spotlight kind of look, so I took this um, purple shade here, black current, and I put it on the inner and outer corners of my eyes, so in the inner and the outer, leaving the center blank, and then in the center, I took this shade, this pink shade here, Sprinkles, and I put that in the center, and then I mimicked that on the lower lash line and blended it out um, with Almond Truffle. And then what I did was I took um, the Sigma E36, which is just this really light, feathery type of brush, and I went into the hot pink, totally fetch, and I just kind of blended that right above um, Almond tr Truffle, just to give a little bit of a different look up there. Um, the Almond Truffle is a really beautiful color, but it just kind of melts into the skin, and I wanted to do something that made it pop, so that's why I, why I went in with Totally Fetch, and then I just used Divinity as my brow bone highlight right underneath the eyebrow. Um, what I also decided to do today, because I got a little bit inspired by yesterday where I took Satin Sheets and used it as a highlight, is I decided to actually take Totally Fetch on a blush brush. I took it on um, this brush here, which is my Morphe E4, and you can still kind of see it on there, and I dabbed it into there, and that's what I used as my blush today, along with using Satin Sheets as my highlight. I think tomorrow I might get a little bit daring and maybe try um, Pecan Praline as a contour. It's super gray, but I don't know. Or even Al Almond Truffle pulls a little pink. I'm gonna see what I can do for tomorrow, but I might be able to get a contour shade out of here too. So I think it actually looks really pretty on the cheeks, really lightly. I mean, it's a super pigmented color, so just a little bit really went a long way on my cheeks, but. I liked because it tied into the eyes as well. So I'll zoom you in for a closer look, but let me just give you the um, finger swatches of the shades that I use. Let me get those on there really quick. Okay, so the hot pink is totally fetched. Of course, I didn't use it that, you know, in that kind of fashion. The next shade here is the Almond Truffle, which you've seen in the previous days. Right here in the middle, we have Sprinkles, which is that pink shade, and then Black Current. And then I'll show you right here, we got, um, where am I? We got Totally Fetch, uh, what are we? Almond Truffle, Sprinkles, and Black Currant there. Day four, I wanna say this is, I went hella dramatic, like, I took it to the next level. I've never done a look like this. I have, I have lipstick on my teeth. I've never done this before. This is like a double cut crease, but I really wanted to try it and I figured why not? I always try to, when I do these palette challenges, is push myself outside of my comfort zone and try to do something really dramatic. That way I can test the limits of the palette itself to see what it can do. So today I did actually use some eye bases, some colored eye bases to intensify the colors. I didn't do that in 
any other days so far. Today was the first day that I did it because I really wanted the um, blue color to really pop on here. So this was actually, I used a lot of colors in this to kind of make it work the way that I want to, but I'll give you kind of the gist of what I did. Um, I'm not going to give a tutorial, but I will tell you, <laughs> like, I'm not going to do like a total step by step. But what I did is to make my creases, my like fake creases, the, you know, the double cut crease, is I used, um, I first went in with pecan praline to outline it, and then I went over it to make it darker with Bordeaux. So that's really what you're seeing is Bordeaux. To blend out the top crease, I blended it out with almond truffle and the pecan praline. And then on the lid itself, I have Earl Grey, and I have that going into molasses chip. Sorry, I hold it upside down so you don't see the mirror. Um, so that's what's really predominantly on my lid. In the negative space between the creases is I did a mixture of satin sheets and divinity and then a little bit of the Cafe Oulat, which is that silvery shade there. That's my only gripe with this, is I wanted it to pop just a little bit more. I wanted something a little bit more white, and there, there's no real white in this palette. It's just like the creamy divinity color with the sparkle of the satin sheet. So that's my only thing, is I wanted it to be a bit brighter, but it totally works. And then on the lower lash line, I used Bordeaux, blended out with mocha and almond truffle. So I'll kind of show you the, um, I guess kind of the, the basis of what I used. Um, yeah, <laughs> we'll go with these. So this is the Earl Grey, which is that bluish shade all over my lid, and I did use that over the base. Check in the description box down below for what I put it over. And then I used Molasses Chip, which again is over a base as well. It'll be listed down below. And this is that Bordeaux, which is what's defining my crease. And then, oh, on my pinky here is that Silvery Cafe Olant, which, I mean, it was kind of that, this, and that. Kind of just kept going back and forth. That's kind of all the satin sheets, the cafe lot, and the divinity all mixed together, but not really giving a um, kind of good idea of it. So there you go. You got the mixture of the three shimmery sheets. You got the Bordeaux, the molasses chip, which is really beautiful all on its own, and then the Earl Grey. And if you can kind of see, that's why I decided to put it over a base. Not that it's patchy, but I really wanted it to pop on the lid there. So that is that look. I'm really happy with the way it came out. I think it came out pretty good for my first time trying to do a double cut crease like that. So um, yeah, check down below for anything else that's on my face, and I will see you tomorrow. Oh, let me zoom you in for a closer look. For day three's... No. For day four's look, I decided to do a classic wing and a bold lip. I'm getting down to the few colors that I have left to use in the palette. So what I did today was I took um, almond truffle and I softly blended that into the crease and then I went in with mocha, which was one of the last shades I had left to use, and I just deepened the crease up with that. I went all over the lid with molasses chip, which is stunning, and then I took a malted, this shade here, and I blended that into the outer corner and blended it up into crease to give that, up into the crease, to give it that like lifted type look there. And then I took um, malted and mocha, nope, malted and mo mocha. <laughs> and I took that on the lower lash line. So let me just swatch these all very quickly for you. So just a very neutral brown look. And then I took Divinity on the brow bone as I've done pretty much every other day here. So. Let me zoom you in for a closer look. There are the finger swatches there and then those swatches there you already saw. So I will zoom you in for a closer look at this look. Day five brings me to using all of the colors in the palette. The last color I had left to use was this pink cotton candy color. So I decided to do just a very pink, girly purple. 
I have to say this isn't totally a look for everybody. People might say this is like 80s looking or whatever, but I actually really kind of like it. So um, basically I started with almond truffle in the crease just to lay down like a blending type color. And then I went in with sprinkles on the inner corner, just the light pink. Then I just worked my way through. Then I went to cotton candy. And then I, I went for it with totally fetch on the outer corner. So I was just going light to dark with the pink. I blended black currant out into the crease just a little bit um, very lightly just to give a little bit of depth just to kind of ground the pinks a little bit and then I also used black currant as my eyeliner today I have no other um, I tie lined but that's what's my eyeliner on my lid and then I blended that onto the lower lash line blended it out with um, totally fetch and then I have satin sheets on the inner corner there so I did tight line with um, a black pencil I will have it listed down below I also today, you know, decided it was my last day of the challenge, so I wanted to use the palette to its full potential, so I went in with Pecan Praline as my contour. Um, I kind of softened it a little bit with Mocha just to give a little bit of warmth as opposed to just the shadow color. And then today I used, I used Cotton Candy, the pink, this pink, as my blush um, and then I mix it a little bit with sprinkles so I kind of went between the two to give just like a nice like pinkish I didn't want totally fetch because it was too hot pink but I just wanted a soft pink to the cheeks and then for my highlight I went on in with satin sheet so I really used pretty much all of this for on my face today other than my lip color and um, you know like my foundation and stuff like that so those are the shades there let me get them on my hand for you so you can take a look at them and I will zoom you in for a closer look and then we'll talk some final thoughts. thoughts on the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Bonbon Palette. So I'll tell you a little bit about it first before I kind of tell you what I think of it. But this palette retails for $49. I'm just reading it online. And on Too Faced website it says, discover a candy coated confection of heart shaped delights with 16 matte and shimmer shades in cool pops of color, sugary brights, and beautiful go-to neutrals, all infused with our chocolate scented antioxidant rich cocoa powder formula. Um, and then it talks about that it's like the third in the chocolate bar collection, blah, blah, blah. So this retails for $49. And I like it has the slimmer packaging. I have the original packaging of the chocolate bar. And you can totally see like quite a difference. I liked too that on this, they put the names on the palette. Um, can you see? So they put them like right along there. Whereas in the original chocolate bar palette, you have this like overlay, which is just kind of annoying. So... It's nice that they have it in there. Of course, the heart shapes are really cute. They give you bigger shades of ones that they think that you would use more, which Divinity, I did use pretty much every day as my brow bone highlight, and I really enjoy satin sheets. I think it's a really pretty color. Did I need it as a jumbo size? Maybe not, but I'm okay with it. Um, there are quite a few mattes in here. Um, I think Almond Truffle's definitely a matte, Pecan Praline, Bordeaux, Mocha. There are some that are like border, like Cashew Chew, I don't know if you would consider it a matte. It has a little bit of a sheen, but it's not shimmery or metallic, like Molasses Chippier um, is. So you do get some different types of finishes in here. All in all, I did enjoy working with this palette, and I like that I pushed myself to use the things for different things, like using it as a contour shade, using the pinks as a blush, or satin sheets as a highlight. I um, think that can be really great if you just kind of want to grab this and go, and you can be able to use this, like if you're away, um, you're able to. It's there. The potential is there for you. Do I think this is a must-have palette? I don't know. I don't know if I would say that. Um, I don't think it's going to be a super reach for palette in my eyes. I really enjoyed working with it. I think the formula is really great. If I didn't get this as like points perks through um, Ipsy, I don't know if I would have gone out and, and purchased it. And in comparison, I think in general the chocolate bar palettes are brown lovers, like neutral lovers palettes. 
I just want to show you kind of the two of them together since I have them. And I didn't find that there's exactly any dupes, but it's a lot of brown. It's a lot of neutral, which if that's what you like, then you're going to get that in this palette and they're great palettes to work with. Do you need both of them? Maybe not. Um, so this for me, it wasn't a love it. I didn't, I, I enjoyed working with it. I think it's great quality. I think the colors are really pretty. It didn't add a whole lot of extra to what I own already, but if you're someone who doesn't have a lot, you like these type of colors, and I think it's a really great palette for you to have. So I hope that makes sense, because I'm not bashing the palette, um, but it's not like my favorite that I personally own, but I don't think it's bad. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. I do really like it. Um, I, I do think there are some similarities, like I said, between the original chocolate bar, the molasses chip, and then this gold shade down at the bottom here look very similar. Even like, you know, the, the Bordeaux is very similar to a shade in the original. So you do have black currants is, you know, there are some similarities between them. Um, but I really liked it. I did enjoy working with it. I think it's great quality. I love the compactness. I love that it's sturdy. And I think that if you didn't own the prior chocolate bar, I think you would really enjoy this palette. So take that for what it, what you will. Let me know your comments. Have you guys used this before? What do you think of it? Do you own the other ones? Kind of let me know what you want, what you liked about it. So I'm excited to see what looks Jessica came up with because we tend to do kind of different things. So I'm excited to see you know, what she was able to create and click right here. I will have a link to her blog post so you can see what she came up with and her thoughts on the palette as well. So as always, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy palette challenge, give this video a thumbs up and we'll try to do more of them together. We haven't done one in a while. So give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.